third time lucky. let's go welcome to a new video guys this is super exciting yeah we're, we've been thinking about this for a couple of days so basically <laughs> what we wanted to do was kind of bring back the girl talk element of the channel yeah because we loved it yeah but i think it would just be it's a, it's a it big was job a time because we were just spiral out of control and we wanted it to be a bit more unique to us and our channel yeah. rather than just like a broad girl talk and i always think that talk. implies things that are like all like taboo questions but just uh it's a space for us just to like talk because sometimes i'm like when you say vlog you want to see and be doing you don't mm. always want a 10 minute sit down just talk because yeah, i get because that's not what a vlog really you know what to sign up for so we thought if we do this as like a separate it's situation. a separate place where people actually want to watch this and maybe get a few new people that want to and watch more content. And then that way we can keep the vlogs more like up and out and do it so and have like catch ups and like proper talks on this. So we've been discussing all different kind of like formulas for how we want these videos to kind of be and we've kind of narrowed it down we yeah. know what we want now. Yeah I think so we we're going to do kind of like a 25 minute segment and we're going to focus on a new topic probably every month yeah which is going to consist of like a, a scenario or a question that we're going to post to people on our instagram so yeah. obviously if you don't follow that head don't to the description now. box uh, and getting your feedback as like your opinions as well as just yeah. listeners kind of thing my necklace is on backwards which is kind of annoying but anyway <laughs> um yeah so we'll be discussing like one scenario that so we've decided to call it talk feminine yeah because i came up with so many names honestly we, the other night. we were like we were fully juices flowing. the girl talk the girl, girl code, code the girl guide all this oh so many we so we've thought... gone with talk feminine because i feel like it sounds like mature it's more mature we're not girl i mean we are girls but you know we don't want also, it to come feminine off as, like, is like beautiful word that doesn't like confine to gender we just we needed a fresh mm -hmm. reboot it's spring yeah we're cleaning out we're clearing up we're starting the channel out like we said in the, the tiktoks vlog, that's up, yeah. and instagrams are being pumped they're getting they've got a new feel to them i feel like yeah, yeah. i just feel like we're really rebranding but in a like in a more us way yeah we just want to make it our own because then even if no one watches it we know we're proud of it do you know what i mean yeah so this week's topic on talk feminine episode episode one, one, one. is femininity because we thought it was a good place to start yeah because what does it actually mean and we don't want to set this thing up with like false pretenses of why we set it up or who it's for or what it actually is about yeah because obviously it means being feminine or having feminine quant qu quantities, qualities, qualities um, and femininity as an like ideal is different for everyone. So we thought, let's just set it as what it is for us. So then when you but come, it was just we wanted to just kind of yeah. Say. So, but also then you know what you're expecting. It was just a good place to start. So the question of this video was, how do you define femininity? So the options were they are aesthetic slash appearance so how someone looks you know how we perceive them yeah or their values so we listed a couple of examples so what i think is so like empathy strength and their experience so um it's quite a, um a weighted vote yeah we, and i think the thing is like i think we'll talk about this we both said that it was quite hard because it's like kind of both but yeah and it's silly but like but down to the core we were saying about i watched an episode of friends the other day and 
fact. One where Chandler wants to know why everyone thinks he's gay when they first meet him. Yeah. And they're all just like, oh, it's a quality, it's a quality that you have. Like, no one can pinpoint it. And I think that's what, like, femininity is, because it's just, yeah. like, the way you it's are. It's not a colour, it's, it's not a gender. It's not the way you look, it's not having long hair and nails. Do you know what I mean? It's just Yeah, who, it's not by being are, a female you, or a male, like... To me, at least. But anyway. even, like, a room, like, I can walk into a room, I'm like, oh, this has such a, like, feminine feel to it. Yeah. Like, it's warm, it's It's got yeah. a feel, it, like, it is a, it's like a, ta not a tangible. It's a quality. It's a quality. And we also said, you said the other day about how probably a couple of, let's say t a decade ago, if you said to a man, oh, you're oh, really yeah. in touch with your feminine side, that could have been an insult, probably was an insult. Yeah, an insult or, like, a bit it's, of a backhanded comment. Yeah, and what? it and it said something about like their masculinity. Yeah, where now I think it's more of like a a po I think anyway, it's, it's a, a positive, positive thing. Yeah. Like if to me, someone a male being in touch with her feminine side is like a green flag. Yeah. For me. A hundred percent. Anytime so, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, definitely. So it's um twenty percent their aesthetic and appearance and eighty percent the values and empathy. I feel like experience it's aesthetic and appearance so there can be like so my brain went obviously what most people think is a female as in gender as in being the stereotype of being pretty but also, it could just but be also how someone dresses. But i think more what we meant by it like appearance is like their dress style maybe their like sense like certain like f smells are more feminine than masculine i love masculine smells but like some, like some people walk past me, and you, it's just a feminine scent, mm -hmm. like more floral. Yeah, it could yeah. be floral. It could be fresher. It could be lighter. But then it's like what I think is, how do you put like mannerisms and and things like that? Does that go into the whole their values and things? So I think like even just now, like we're talking with our hands, mm. you know, that to me is quite like a feminine thing. Yeah. So is that going into their aesthetic and their appearance? Or is yeah, that and some people into... have a feminine walk. Or a voice. Or a voice, yeah. Was, what was this song the other day? It was on a film or something. Oh, it was on Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I've not watched, watched that. It. It's really good, you should watch it. Um, and there's this song, and I was, like, I would have put £10 on the fact that it was a woman. It was a man. And it was a man, mm -hmm. because he has a really high register. And he's known for being like a soprano. Yeah. So I was like, wow, that's great. Yeah. But like, I genuinely would have been but like, but it's even like some females I know do not have a feminine walk. Like, don't. Like, yeah. And, and some guys I know just have a way. But it's like dancers, like the way certain dancers, like, you watch a man do ballet, it's one of the most feminine and masculine things all at the same time in one. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It, not because he's dancing. Yeah, but, but the way also the like, strength that it the, takes to be a male ballerina and like, the way you're an athlete like you are. Yeah, a hundred percent. And I oh, yeah, so we've got like aesthetic, so that could be like colours, visually what you I don't look think there like. was a wrong answer either, I think. No, I feel like on the surface people would be like, Well obviously it's not what you look like. Yeah. But I think not like Oh, you wear pink and you've but got it blonde also hair. Is because you could take it in the way that if you don't know someone you've not spent a lot of time with them. On across first the room. Are you saying you could look at someone and go, well, they're nice and feminine, or you know, they're yeah. giving off very masculine energy? energy. That yeah, is energy is a very different. That is something you get initially from the looks, and there's like nothing wrong with that. No, it's just that is if you allow your opinion to change. I think that's the biggest thing. I, and it was like some people are a feminine masculine, and other people are masculine feminine. So they, for example, they I think I was listening to it on podcast. They gave the example that Princess Diana would be a feminine feminine and Charles, Prince, like King Charles, would probably be a feminine masculine but then Camilla would be a masculine feminine. Do you see it? Yeah, it's like that ugly hot thing. Yeah, so I would probably be a feminine feminine where I think you might be a feminine masculine. No, I thought it was masculine feminine. I think your overriding quality though Oh, I thought it'd be like the second one would be like you're probably assigning gender. Is that not No, no, it's like an energy. It's like your first energy and then another like your oh, underlying energy. So initially you're like feminine. So yeah. Then when you get to know So that I think I'd be a feminine feminine. Whereas like like Ariana Grande would be a feminine feminine, but I think a Beyonce would be a feminine masculine. Mm. 
Because you've got that like power. The power. Dominance. Dominance. Kind of but also just the like the presence maybe or there's just a it's just you can, it's one of them things that you can't describe yeah, but we also when we was talking about making the polls like we didn't it's so hard when you think about femininity you don't want to be stereotypical but yeah really that's all masculine and feminine are stereotypes, stereotypes that society of yeah but that's kind of all that there can ever be because yeah until someone goes well i'm just kind of both which i think is great yeah. So I think there's great qualities in both and I also think that like strength and power and stuff is something that we so often would be like oh that's a masculine quality but really yeah. it isn't it's feminine as well like if you yeah. think about the strength of like motherhood every birth, time I think yeah literally like birth I'm like that is the hardest thing a body can that can be designed for to go through yeah the fact that as a woman, if your physical health is like all there, you could be pumping out a kid a year for like yeah, 10 to 20 make, years. And like, not to make it biblical, but recently I was doing some things on the Bible for like college work, and basically, we've gone down like, down the Christian Bible believes that like labour was, it was like a punishment for Eve. For Eve. Because it's so painful. So it isn't yeah. like, so that just shows how much of like, it is a massive thing of pain and strength that's needed. Yeah, I think it's like, is it um, seahorses that the, the male, male yeah. takes the pregnancy? But it's like one of the very few species yeah. on the earth that do. Yeah. But yeah, I just think femininity is it's a it's a strange one. But I do I I see it's a massive compliment. But I know some people say it. Not it can be quite. Like patronising, yeah. Spoke like about this people in, be like in our own life the other day. Yeah, when people are like, they might not use the word feminine, but they might be like, oh, she's a girl's girl, or she's yeah, super girly, or mm -hmm. there's an element of like, it's kind of about like, I think what's that word where you're like, you're not giving me credit for the fact it's that almost I'm like, like a, a backhanded comment. Yeah, that some I'm a full blown woman. I think that it's is that type of like expressive, especially when I read that book that was literally over there. That women don't know you're pretty about how, especially a lot of girls, females, as we grow up, we feel the need to distance ourselves and be like, oh, I'm not like other girls because yeah. we feel like we need to be pleasing men and be different and. And we need like to why can't out. I like cupcakes and be blonde so and it, love pink yeah, and still be a really strong feminist, not take shit from any yeah. guy and be great at yeah I don't know maths and so shit. then <laughs> I think it's become kind of a backhanded compliment from some people to be like oh I'm just not that kind of girl I'm not like a girl's girl but then also it's about like embracing that yeah. that is what you are like own the stereotype be. and be like because I am I am a fully girls girl oh, like, I, I am everyone that meets me knows I would I pick am. that over ten times over any person um even in our family though like it's very female heavy oh, yeah, definitely. and our granddad is super feminine but that's another that he's probably a great example of a very masculine man that is feminine yes do you know what I mean yeah because he was like he's been a fisherman his whole life is macho. Yeah, he was a roofer. Very like, muscly. Like he's always worked with his hands. Head of the family. You know? And it's always, I think it's a generational thing. But it's like there's certain things that, like to them, it's like a man's job and a woman's job. And yeah. Kind of like to provide for your family and stuff like that, and be like the then like be like the caregiver and then the yeah. woman and stuff like that. But then again, I think as he's got older, he has got more feminine because. It was like he's just been surrounded by girls. Like, yeah, he has five sisters. sisters. Yeah. He has five sisters, and his mum was like his world. And all his sisters have gone on to have girls. And then he's had two girls and a boy. And then we're two girls' grandkids, mm -hmm. and he's got another like five girl grandkids. Yeah, and he always he always laughs to say, but do you know what? He wouldn't have it any other way. He adores it. Yeah. I do think it's about who you surround yourself with. And it's the first person to give us a compliment or to be like... I think the whole point of this like masculine and feminine thing is just to be... I think it's nice to be aware of like who you are and what you, like, what you want to be. Like if mm. you want to be the most masculine femme ever, be it. Do you know do what I mean? It. But also allow yourself to change and allow yourself to be around other people that are And also maybe... be aware of what the stereotype is and what are the pits and falls of both masculine and femininity. Mm. Yeah. Because it's gr like, I think it is what you make it and I think 
I feel like our generation is changing so much in that way. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because masculine, in a way, growing up was like an insult. Like, oh, they're super ma- like, like a tomboy. Like a man. Like it was man. always like expected to be a face. But also a masculine. But even for boys, like, oh, they're super masculine. Like they're a, they're a lad's lad. There's a they're a boy's boy. Yeah. That's like a negative thing, but it shouldn't be like. I mean, to some people, it won't be. Yeah. yeah. It's just about if. If that's what you want to be, then it's not an insult to you kind of thing. Because I think that's why I love like stuff about being embarrassed and like it being insulted. Like you're only embarrassed. The only person that allows you to be embarrassed and insulted is you. you. Like yeah. obviously, you can. Your emotions have a lot of power over you. But if you decide, you know what? If you're gonna say something like that to me about being a girl's girl or or I'm not that type of girl or whatever. Yeah. Then you can just be like, so what? Yeah, so I have girls, or so I only enjoy being around boys. Like, embrace it, kind yeah. of thing. And also, it doesn't like it doesn't define who you are. No, and it can change. Exactly. That's what really annoys me. I'm like, oh, they used to be like this and that. Well, everyone now she's like, wearing dresses are now. Oh. Now they only like to play f- like whatever. And just because you yeah. are doing certain things that might have been masculine, like say if you're on a girls' soccer team, doesn't mean that you aren't as feminine as you want to be. Yeah, like I think. That's what I think we found when we like you have to be a, in a box. When we once you to, decided, that's it. Yeah, when we were trying to list feminine qualities, it was like, we the ones that spring to mind are like warmth, kindness, like all the kind of soft qualities that like stereotypically are like of a feminine. mother, yeah, of a, a wife, woman, of yeah. a wife. But of then a there's also like the strength and the, you know, the courage that it takes to be a mother a mom, and, a wom- and a woman a woman in this world. What we found from, like, just even this discussion and just, like, the whole thought process of the video is that I think the best type of people are those that embrace both qualities. Yeah. And that aren't, like... I, I just don't think you should ever put yourself in a box. Like, we no, and, But that's why we did this, because we were, like, we want a space where we'll... Like discuss and talk about things that like interest us or like are in line with our own values because like there's no point us being talking about something that we've never experienced or yeah, will that's not what experience. Kind of was. So that's why like we're doing so, talk feminine. Even though it'll be like scenarios and questions that we might come up with. If anyone ever like DM'd us a question, do you know yeah. if we put on a story, we might do that. It might be cool to do like if anyone has a question under this topic. Yeah. Then we can discuss it to a certain extent, especially if we've got life experience. But I think we wanted it to be really stuff that we can speak about from our own experience. So yeah, we're not just and it's spouting generic crap. Yeah, and also, do you know what? Like, you could search go- girl talk and you'll get like a thousand like, videos yes. of like girls trying and especially... to be taboo and doing their thing. But I think our thing is. I think we just want it to be like a permanent part of our channel. We want it to be something that's organic as well. We're not forcing anything. Like this is this is what we'd talk about if we were having a drink in a coffee shop. Yeah. Like, and we're just filming it. Yeah. There's no. The only thing we've done is that we want it to be like each week we've got like a little like topic slash scenario. Like we'll put it every time we do it. We'll put it on the story so yeah. we can like feed back off your guys, and then. Yeah, because I think it's interesting to see, like, that some people do say, oh, like, they're parents and stuff. Like, it's nice to get, like, a general kind of... Mm. uh, The people that might watch this, that are probably going to watch this, what their opinions are as well. Because there's no point in us sitting here and being like, we think this, we think this, we think this. Yeah, and also, I I don't want it to be, like, preachy and, like... Yeah. Yeah, because... And what I would love, and it probably won't even happen, but is... For like the comment section in these videos to be able to be quite like interactive, like you know a mean? conversation. If you were like, oh, I think this as well. Yeah, I think that's like one of the biggest tools about like social media. The internet should be Community. sharing, it yeah, sharing be. thoughts and opinions. And it's things. not a one. I think that's the thing that's difficult about social media. It's not a one-way mirror. Like you shouldn't be able to just throw stuff out and like think nobody can respond. But at the same time, you can't throw out hate and not expect like responsibility and stuff like yeah we want it to be a two-way thing that like if you guys were sat in the room we'd all be just we'd just be all yeah. having a like a yeah but it would be interesting to see if you you agree with us or if you think you know it is it is quite na- normal to stick more to like a feminine personality or a masculine or if you think it's possible to have both just so then you can go down a channel and we'll hopefully put a little playlist in and then you'll be like 
you can watch them. Yeah, and you just like, oh, like... And just like we said, so that... If you can just pick and mix them, which episode works for you. Yeah, but hopefully then people that this is their kind of thing or can go straight to this. Yeah. Rather than kind of, you know, waiting around for a vlog and you'd be like, you don't really know. Same with like yeah. how I was talking about maybe doing like a reading video. Just more specific videos so that you kind of know what this you're in your, for. Like jam or not. Yeah, and also like if vlogs, everyone likes vlogs, but they're preferred we to vlogs, be like, like 10 to 15 them. minutes. Yeah. And it'd be more like, here where we are, we're here, we're here, rather than let's talk for 10 minutes about a book we got. Like if that doesn't interest people, we'll like, ha we'll move it to a separate space. Yeah. But I think it works in the vlogs, to be honest, because it's quite organic and it's like yeah. what we are doing, what we enjoy. There's but like yeah, a we're balance. flexible. We're trying to like, find the balance of what we want to put out and what people want to see, because there's no point in us being, just putting stuff out that you want if we don't you know it's not yeah, something at the end of the day, we've got and then same way there's no point in us putting out everything we want to put out and nobody and no wants to watch a two hour movie yeah. in well, the pyjamas I mean like we not? always say we're doing this just for us like we're not expecting 50,000 people to watch it I mean if they do great but yeah I actually don't think I'd know what to do with myself <laughs> yeah but I think the thing is like we have to remember like we started this because we wanted to create a space that we would enjoy like really? if we were just watchers I think I say this all the time especially when when people always ask me oh what is oh you still kind of hobby oh when they're like are you still doing that thing with your sister oh no I'm not about that when, oh just in general life like if you're ever filling out a form or an interview or anything people often say to me oh like do you have any hobbies and I've never really especially now since I've dropped a few of my hobbies have been like had a person that can be like, oh yeah, I'd play this sport. Yeah, we've danced. never been them kids. Like, the only thing I ever did was, like, dabbled in, you know, you could say musical theatre and drama a bit. But, like, that's kind of, that yeah. my personality's kind of evolved from that. Whereas, more, like, that's kind of, now my... I think I've become more introverted to be towards, like, reading, my own time, like, movies. And then I'm always, like, I say to people quite often, is that hobby but yeah it is because it's an interest well, it's something like, you do books and films are a huge for your part own joy personality what I'm trying to say is that i feel like sometimes when if someone asks me a hobby i'd be like is this and but it is because that's all we're doing it's a it passion. for we're it's just a passion, a passion project. project yeah we're just doing it because we enjoy it and that's all a hobby is because we just enjoy like we're genuinely talking about this we just enjoy YouTube content so much. So like, much. Every time I watch like Sophia and Chintzy's vlog, Emma's vlog, like any, and I have like a lot of YouTubers that I watch now that you don't watch. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just like watching it and I'm like, I just love it because it feels like I'm a part of their life in the best sort of way. Yes. Because there are like some of them live across the bloody world. I know. I get to see the best parts of their life or the, or I get to just like learn from their experiences. Yeah, it's I like, feel the exact so same. I follow this married couple and it's just amazing to yeah, like Yeah, I follow them. this married couple that live in Australia and they travel and they've ju they're about to have their first baby. Same. Is it the same people? No, but they're oh, about okay. to have a baby. And I literally feel like, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm like, oh my god, that's love. Like, yeah. they have built a community and I'm genuinely like so happy for yeah. them. Yeah, that's yeah. why we that's all we're doing so hopefully you enjoy this mm -hmm. and you can find this episode and soon there'll be more episodes to watch um we still have we'll still keep the girl talk like channel live um we're just gonna open make, up make a, a new, new playlist. playlist hopefully so hopefully you enjoyed well we'll see you next time hopefully on episode two of talk feminine, talk feminine. see you later <laughs> i love the accent talk feminine talk i feel like feminine. i can't say it and i don't like saying it we'll talk. see you next time on talk, talk feminine, feminine. It just sounds really boring. Talk feminine. <laughs> I've, you know what I find <laughs> mad that people's lips can do things other people's lips can't do. Because I would never in a million years be able to do that. What? Because your lip shape's like a lot more like an O. So you was just like, what managed to pop a tooth out? <laughs> but I could never do that. Right. Well, what way? <laughs> anyway. Anyway. This we is what to, we do and then we don't. We need like an intro or we're doing like just to hi, welcome to the first talk feminine. Yeah. Should I shut the door? Yeah. Just for a bit of noise protection. We're not filming any dodgy videos in here, gals. <laughs> Blur this out. <laughs> <laughs> BRB. I can't get that. Where's the record button? Oh, shit. <laughs> Where is it? It's a wrap, it's a wrap, it's a wrap, it's a wrap. It's a wrap.
so sour, baby Running on a steam every day, be the same Living like this, testing all my patience Need a better